Hi, I'm Melinda um, with Melinda Howard Art, and I'm going to be showing my process to paint these birds in um, alcohol ink. Um, first, I want to go over a couple things I have sitting on my table here. Um, I have I have my alcohol inks. Actually, they're out of shot, but I have my alcohol inks, and I'll go over the colors in a minute. Um, I also have some watered down. Oh, it's not watered down. It's um, part. Um, of the alcohol ink and part 91% alcohol in these little bottles that I got on Amazon. Um, and then I label them because I don't use all of them in one sitting most of the time. And then this one just has the 91% alcohol in it. Um, I also have, this is just some dirty alcohol that I've used before. I actually have two um, and I'll show you why when I get into the process, but I have a little cup of alcohol and then one with just alcohol that I keep reusing until it gets so dirty I can't see. Um, I also have these little cute little things. Um, they're ceramic that I got from Hobby Lobby. I got the idea from a, um, a YouTuber that I really love um, her, her videos. They've helped me so much. Um, it's Teresa Kovalak. And I'll, I'll put a, a link to her video so you can see hers. Um, but she gave me this idea. Um, and these are fairly cheap at Hobby Lobby, like $8 or something like that. Um, and so I've gotten several, as you can see, and kind of color coordinated them. I also have a um, little cup here full of my, these are my um, alcohol ink only um, brushes. I, I'm also a watercolor artist, and that I keep separate. Um, like everything, like even the containers, the the brushes, I, I do everything separately. I don't want to mix them up, so I don't use these for watercolor, and I don't use my watercolor brushes for my alcohol ink. Let's get started. So, um, the first thing I'll I will show you a picture of the kind of work that I do and then I can show you the process to get there. Um, today I'm going to be painting a kingfisher um, bird. I'm, I mostly do birds, just absolutely love them. And first I do sort of an abstract wispy background um, and then I paint the bird. Um, and then I'll show you my process to do that. Um, I do the background and then I subtract <laughs> the outline of the bird and then I paint the bird after I actually go back to white and then I do the bird. So um, let's get started with this. Um, it might get a little loud because I do use a little hair dryer to move around the, the alcohol ink. Um, I'm going to be using a stream is one color, turquoise, rust, and then within the bird, um, and a little bit in the background, possibly. I'm using pool, denim, stone washed, and terracotta. So those are the colors, and I'll list those in the description as well. So let's get started. A um, couple of tips I'm going to give during the whole thing. Um, one tip, and I got the tip, by the way, for these for these bottles to water them, water down the alcohol ink. I got that from a YouTuber called Miriam's Nature. It's spelled M Y R I U M, I believe. Miriam's Nature, and she's awesome. She's such a good teacher. Um, but I got the idea to water them down a little bit, and of course, you know, when I'm saying water them down, I'm talking about alcohol, not water. <laughs> I it's the hazard of being a watercolor artist. You're going to hear me say water a few times <laughs> when I mean alcohol. So um, let's get started with this. I'm going to just put down a little bit of the turquoise and then a little bit of the alcohol and then kind of blow it around and excuse the noise. I put down a little bit of the stream 
it's a little darker a little brighter than the um, turquoise A couple of tips I just need to give you real quick. Now I don't want to do it with the hair dryer on. The paper I'm using is by Graphics. Um, it's a little bit thicker than just normal Yupo, and I really love the outcome of, of this paper. It's Graphics Plastic Sheet, and I will also put a link for that. Um, also, a couple things. Um, I have seen people blow, do this process using a straw and doing it manually and you may get a little bit more control that way but these are very toxic, well not very toxic but they are a little toxic and you don't want to be breathing in, you know, when you blow with a straw and then you're breathing it in, it's not good. So I, I've seen people use um, airbrush things, I've seen them use um, hair dryers and then um, uh, also, I think Ranger has a new um, product that it's like a, a syringe blower, so you can just pump it like this and you can move it around. And I think you have a little more control than you do with the hair dryer. As far as I'm concerned, I like not having the control, so I like this little gadget. This is a Conair. Um, it you actually it comes with a, a brush attachment, um, and you're supposed to be able to brush your hair and blow dry it at the same time. Or well, if you don't put the attachment on, this little thing works awesome. So um, the other tip is make sure that you are doing this, especially this process, because you're blowing it around so much um, with an open window. And I normally have a fan going as well. So anyway, just want to give those couple of tips and I'll just keep going. And it's okay to me that parts of it comes off the paper and, and then there's a lot of white space on the edges. I, I kind of like that. That's what I want. So I'm um, going to get started with my bird. This is the first part. Um, it's the background. And now I'll get started putting in my, my subject. 